This is Mo from Charlotte, North Carolina. Why do you have an Anchorman poster in your house? <laughs> Funny question. I'm sure some of you, maybe many of you, saw the Anchorman poster on the wall as fed up with Dak, I fired Dak's jersey into the trash late Sunday night. Just for the record, we have a number of movie posters decorating the walls of our home, thanks to Ernestine. Down that same hallway that you can see the Anchorman poster from the kitchen, there are actually two other of our favorite movies in poster. So we have Anchorman that you saw, we have Caddyshack, and we have Die Hard. I think you know how I feel about Die Hard. It is a great Christmas movie. I could watch for the 147th time tonight. Maybe I will. No, I don't have time. Hey, give me John McClane. Give me Sergeant Al Powell. Give me Hans Gruber. I know every line. I've told you we can look out our window and see the actual Die Hard Tower, Nakatomi Plaza Tower, which is actually a Fox Tower. But Anchorman is our, Ernestine and mine, all-time favorite comedy, all-time. Because in largest part, I'm in the TV business and I have worked with several Ron Burgundies. Ron Burgundy is the essence of Will Ferrell, the essence. You know, most great comedies have, what, a, an 80% hit rate on the jokes and the gags. Anchorman is 98%, at least for us. Sex Panther, 60%. Of the time it works every time I, I just I can't get much better than that and by the way Christina Applegate God bless her she drives and finally steals that movie as Veronica Corningstone and also by the way Will Ferrell's Talladega Nights rivals Anchorman for us but for us, Caddyshack is the closest second to Anchorman. I may have mentioned Caddyshack before here, but it really gets golf. Golf is my passion. It's my obsession. It's my love and my hate. But you, you don't have to get golf to get Caddyshack. It's Rodney Dangerfield and Chevy Chase and Bill Murray. Big hitter, the llama. Or as he says, the llama. Bill Murray gets total consciousness. So at least he's got that going for him. And the Cinderella story scene is just all time greatest. It is addictive madness. We watch Caddyshack, I don't know, two, three, four times a year just when we need to get our spirits picked up. Maybe, maybe I'll try it this Friday night. And I will also tell you, if you will allow me to go a little sideways with you, Ernestine actually, as presents to me, had artwork made featuring two of my all-time favorite Westerns. These hang in our living room because they are sensational as artwork in and of themselves, regardless of what they actually represent. The first is from my all-time favorite Western. You, you probably won't know it, but it's the great Sam Peckinpah's Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid, starring Chris Christopherson as the kid and James Coburn as the sheriff, Pat Garrett. I have some Old West gunfighter in me. I have some kid in me. 
this movie touches my soul. Ernestine loves it almost as much as I do. And by the way, if you want the all-time greatest gunfight ever put on film, try Peck and Paws with the Wild Bunch. It was a legendary breakthrough. And finally, the other Western you will not know is as riveting a thriller as I have ever watched. Would you believe I first saw it at what was called the Cinema 70 drive-in in Oklahoma City the summer before my junior year in high school. It's called The Stalking Moon. It features an aging U.S. Army scout trying to retire, played by Gregory Peck, versus the greatest Apache warrior ever, a killing machine named Salvaje, as in Savage, who's on a mission to retrieve his white wife and his son, who are being sheltered by Gregory Peck, who's trying to retire in New Mexico. It is eerie, it is chilling, it is emotionally draining. If you started watching it, you would not be able to stop. It is hide your eyes tension to the bitter end. But again, I have some Old West in me. I have some Gregory Peck. I have some Salvaje in me. And that's why that artwork hangs on our living room wall. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from The Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.